Hi kids, it is October 27th, 2020. So some things that you'll need today, your hundreds chart printout. This was in your supply box. It's a uh, one through 100 um, on a chart. Uh, so if you have that, that's great. If you can't find it, don't worry. Um, and your whiteboard and your markers. So the supplies that you need for the rest of the day, a super sentence paper, Hopefully you have one of those. If not, you can just use your notebook and a pencil. And then for popsicles for science this afternoon, you're gonna need juice, popsicle sticks, cups, banana slices, and a freezer. All right, so make sure you watch this whole video and make sure to put your name. I want you to sing along with this magic E song. All of your spelling words have E, E, or E, A that make the long E sound. So this is a cute little song that you can sing along to. Come and join us for our live class at 9.30. The code is BC Blair. And then you have super sentences. So you're going to write a sentence using each of your spelling words. If you got 100% on your regular spelling words yesterday, make sure to use the challenge words for these sentences. And um, use a capital letter at the beginning and a period, a question mark, or an exclamation mark at the end. And don't forget those finger spaces. All right, we're going to do lesson 2.1 in math on Seesaw, and this is about adding on a hundreds chart. And we're going to talk about this a little bit in live class, uh, but we you can practice adding numbers using a, this hundreds chart online, and then you can also go to Seesaw and do the activity. Your activity will look like this. It has its own hundreds chart. So basically, you start at the first number, okay, 46, right here. Oh, there's 1, 10, and 18. So that means that you go down one, and then you go to the right eight, because there's eight ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So 46 plus 18 is 64. All right. So that is how you add on a hundred chart. All right, so make sure you submit that in Seesaw. And then another activity that we have in Seesaw um, is Krankenstein, okay? So this is not an assignment, but what you're gonna just do is you're going to um, click on the plus sign and you're gonna add a picture of this to Seesaw, okay? So, um, you're gonna find a paper that looks like this, and it's sequencing Krankenstein. So you're gonna cut these flaps out right here, and under where it says sequencing Krankenstein, you're gonna put glue, and you're gonna glue it down in your notebook. And so you, under the first flap, you're gonna write me a sentence on what happens first in the story, then next, and then, okay? So sequence the events and write a sentence for each of those. And then you can just take a picture and post it to Seesaw. Okay. Then I thought it would be fun to check out the Boom Card app. So I want you to <coughs> log in using your account. And you can click here for the login info. And all of our passwords are read. And you can complete the addition using a hundreds chart deck. Okay, so the Boom Card app looks like this. Then we're gonna go and read chapter eight of The Witches, which I just found out is coming out at, on a movie. <coughs> I think you need the HBO subscription to see it, but it should be a good one. Um, and chapter eight, is what we're reading, Formula 86. I wonder, what does Formula 86 do to a child? Why don't you f find out by listening? Then we have a super fun um, activity, experiment per se, um, in science. We're gonna make popsicles to see how matter changes from liquid to solid. And then I also want you to leave one of your popsicles out to see um, how 
a popsicle will change back into liquid if it's not under freezing conditions. So um, go to Seesaw and you'll see this activity and you have to take a picture of what your ice pops look like before they're frozen and after. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Then you have drop everything and read. So read a book at home or find something to read on Raz Kids or Epic. And then tell me what you read. And then that's it. So don't forget to tally up all of your points. How many points did you have for attending classes? Remember, each class is 50 points. And then how many stars do you think you deserve? And how many are your parents going to give? Okay, don't forget to submit your form to get your star points. All right, guys. Bye.